Hackamore Man 16 Ultimate Team, and today EA has released the new Team of the Week content for the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And interesting to note that the hero, 24-hour hero anyway, is going to be a Julius Peppers, and the set is this Larry Fitzgerald. Quickly, let's take a look at the divisional um, upgrade set just to see who got a card. Jeff James, Rashad, wait, is it? yeah, Rashad Johnson, Eric Fisher, and Jarvis Jones. Happy Eric Fisher actually got a new upgrade. He's actually one of, he's actually a pretty good uh, blocker, I'm not gonna lie. Now, the, our elite team of the week players, now, <laughs> personally, I did call this one. I think everyone could have probably called it. Jonathan Stewart has the highest overall card in the set this week. 90 overall halfback. We got KJ Wright, Jermaine Curse, and Derek Wolf. Let's take a look at Jonathan Stewart's stats. I want to see what he's actually going for when he looks like. Going for 85k right now. Yikes. Well, I'm going to check out this 90k one so that way it doesn't get bought out. But here we go. He's got 92 speed, 92 agility, 96 acceleration, 90 carrying, 90 ball carry vision, 98 elusiveness. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. 82 trucking and 95 juke move. Now, I'm going to compare him real quick to his uh, Football Outsiders card. And as you can see, the only thing that really changed or stayed the same, quite honestly, was his ball carrier vision. And he got a lot of upgrades in uh, different areas. Then got a plus two to speed, a plus one to agility, plus one to acceleration, plus two to carrying, uh, same ball carrier, one to elusiveness, um, a lot to the trucking, and two to juke move. I want to see what his catching's like. I got a plus two to catching, so not a big upgrade, but if you do want to get a cheap Jonathan Stewart, his Football Outsiders is also an option to get. But this one, I wouldn't sleep on it. It's actually a really good card. But again, another halfback with 92 speed. That's what you've seen a lot this year. I haven't seen one with a lot of breakout speed. Only one I could say other, out of all of them is Chris Johnson, flashback. That's it. This KJ Wright, not that many on the auction house, going for about 39k, 88 overall, right outside linebacker. With 85 speed, 76 strength, 90 acceleration, 94 tackling, 90 play rec, 83 block shed, 95 pursuit, and 94 power. All right, what's his catching like? He's got a 65 catching. What did KJ Wright even do? Let all defenders with 14 tackles and two tackles for losses. All right. Now, quite honestly, I thought Kwan Short might have gotten a car this week again, but I think that would have been a bit OD, quite honestly, just because he's already had a lot this year. But Kwan Short, hey, he's one of the best D tackles in the game. Jermaine Curse, all right, he's got a card with 93 speed, 93 catching, 81 elusiveness, 97 spec catch, 81 release, 84 route running, 91 catching traffic, and 94 jumping. I would say if you do need a pretty cheap budget slot receiver, this would be your guy right here. Jermaine Curse had 11 catches for 110 yards and two touchdowns. Jermaine Curse, not a bad card. That speed and catch and traffic is pretty freaking beastly. Derek Wolf, left end for the Denver Broncos. Let's see what he's going for. Going for a measly 14K right now. Let's see his stats. 79 speed, 96 strength, 90 acceleration, 93 tackling, 91 block shed, 92 power move, 55. Oh, God. <laughs> 55 finesse move. Wow. An 83 play right. The only bad thing, just taking away finesse move, because I really don't understand the two diff the differences between the two. I think they have to do with the button correlation, like X is power move, A is finesse, I don't know, something like that. 83 play rec, I hate that on this card. The 91 block shed, I love that on this card. It's just, the play rec ain't going to help you when you're going for a run game. The block shed, though, kind of will, so it evens out. And the team of the week collectible, which is going for a fuck ton of coins right now. The Slayer Fitz and Julius Peppers, we're going to take a look for on the auction house to see... How much they're going for. Now, quite honestly, guys, I'm happy that uh, my Carolina Panthers are moving on. They are one game away, one game away from being in the Super Bowl. All they have to do is take on the Arizona Cardinals, and I feel as if they can do it. The only thing that... See, the difference between last year's Arizona team and this year's Arizona's team, uh, Carson Palmer. <laughs> Essentially, Carson Palmer is back for the Arizona Cardinals, so we got to watch out. The Panthers just have to watch out for him. I can I can I see Carolina getting away pretty easily with this game? No, I think it's going to be a very close. Uh, I won't even say shootout, but it's going to be a very close defensive-minded game. And oh man, I almost bought that one for fucking. Whew, never mind. Almost fucked up. Almost fucked up. But don't worry, worry. We caught ourselves on that. 95 overall, Larry Fitz. Finally, we get a 95 overall team of the week for crying out loud. Get a high overall team of the week. 93 speed, 98 catching, 70 looseness, 98 spec catch, 95 release, 91 route running, 96 catch in traffic, and 97 jumping. This Larry Fitz is proving to be pretty freaking awesome. I mean, that 95 release does help. He can get off the line pretty damn quick, and he's getting away from his uh, corner, especially he's going against one of the slower corners. He, 
I can see him burning out a few people. This player fits 6'3", pretty beastly. Now we also have a left outside linebacker, Julius Peppers. I'm surprised JP got a card. Not because I'm not saying he's, you know, I'm not, and I'm not saying that Julius Peppers is bad. I just didn't hear anything about Julius Peppers' performance this week, so I didn't think he actually did anything good. That's the whole thing. Going for about 180k right now. Yikes! Now last year he had a 24-hour football, 24-hour football outsider, so it was pretty fucking beastly, and I had to pick up. This Julius Peppers with 85 speed, 88 strength, 94 acceleration, 86 tackling, 92 play rec. 82 block shed, 93 pursuit, and 94 power move. This Julius Peppers, pretty fucking beastly. His impacts till Wednesday, so gotta get him. See if you can get him out of packs. If you do, fucking amazing right there. Glad you got him out of packs. But yeah, this Julius Peppers, I'd say his price is gonna go down a little bit. Divisional, two tackles for loss, five quarterback hurries, and one sack. He was a hero. Man, Julius Peppers a beast right here. Yo, I might have to pick up his card. So guys, that is the Team of the Week content for this week. Let me know in the comments section down below if you pulled any packs. All Madden packs are out for the next two days. So if you got the coins and you got the money and you want to drop some on those packs, see if you might, you know, test your luck, test the waters. Go ahead and do that, man. I would say the All Madden packs are probably some of the best packs in the game besides Pro Packs. But thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go and hit that like button. If you want to see more content help support the channel, go and hit that subscribe button. I'm Mar, AK Punter Crash Bash. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, y'all. Peace.